Hey, what's happening, Fire Children? Chad Allen here, and welcome back to FireChildVideo.blogspot.com. It's been a while since I've seen you guys. I know. Uh, what can I say? Life happens. Uh, it's good to be back, though. I can tell you that much. I missed you guys. I wanted to come in and give you, if not uh, very advanced, at least a very fun uh, blender tutorial. And as you can see here, this is what we're going to be creating a, uh, well, a Coke can, Pepsi can, you know, uh, you know, whatever kind of can you want to make, but they, uh, basically a soda slash beer can. And, uh, now I know what you're thinking. This is way too shiny for a, uh, uh, tin can, but, uh, what we're aiming to create here is we're aiming to create uh, hyper realism. We're not going for photorealistic on this one. What we're doing is we're going kind of how McDonald's or Burger King uh, photographs their uh, their food because a Big Mac never looks as good as it does in the picture. Same kind of thing here. We're going to create sort of a Coke can for an advertisement uh, or, or a visual on a billboard to kind of give it a hyper realism to get make it eye catching. So it's gonna be uh, a little over the top. That that's the whole point here. So let's uh go ahead and I already wasted a minute and a half so let's go ahead and get into blender here we are now modeling the coke can is actually fairly simple it's uh I mean really the only problems we're gonna have is with the cap or, or the top of the can but uh, all in all it's gonna be pretty simple I'm just gonna close out my tool panel by hitting T there and I'm going to delete the default cube because we don't need that what we are gonna use shift a is a circle so we've got our circle here, and this is basically going to start off, think of this as the bottom of the can, the, the very base. And uh, what we can do here is I just hit T to bring up my tools. We can drop the vertices down to a little more manageable number, something like 12. We're going to smooth it out anyway, so that will work pretty good. Uh, we also want to go ahead and fill it. Uh, you'll see why here in just a moment. And that will do. So now we can go ahead and close the tool panel, and let me get a drink real quick. Ah, all right. Sorry about that. O oddly enough, I'm drinking a uh, a pib and not a coke, and uh, yet we're modeling a coke can. Oh well. Uh, onward. Let's go ahead and where were we? Okay, we can tab into edit mode, and you'll see we have all our vertices here. And what we need to do is we want to take just the center point. And if you notice, I don't have reference images because you know a coke can's fairly straightforward. But on the bottom, I actually have you know this pib can right next to me. On the bottom, the center point is slightly indented. Now that won't show up in our render unless we lay the can on its side. But let's go ahead and bring that center point up. And then if we hold down Alt and right click on one of these edges here, it'll select this outer loop. And then we can hit E to extrude it. Bring it up some on the Z axis, just a little bit like so, and then maybe scale it out just a little bit with S, and then bring it up again, hit E to extrude, bring it up along the Z, scale it out, oop, scale it out, and then E to extrude again, bring it up on the Z, and that basically forms the bottom of our can. Now let's Alt right click there and bring this down a little bit. Yeah, something like that. Once we smooth it out, you'll see it'll look a lot better. So now what we can do is grab this top one, drag it up to about the size of our can about like that now if you notice on the top of a can you get to a certain point and then it tapers in and then the top cap starts to form so that's what we need to do here we can let's just position this a little better Oop. A little jumpy with the screen recording I need to uh, I don't know get more RAM or something so let's go ahead and extrude it with E bring it up and then scale that in about there and what we can do now is we can start making that cap so the easiest way to do that is really it's just a little lip that forms right here so we can just extrude it out you know scale out a little bit extrude down extrude scale out Oop. If you hold down shift it'll uh, be a little more precise for you because we don't want to go too far out extrude up Go to side view, Z, we can see, we just want to be right over that lip, and then we can extrude, scale in, seven to go in a top view, and we can scale it in just where we need it. And I'm using uh, the Z key to toggle in and out of wireframe, and 
Now we can extrude, bring it down, extrude, scale in, extrude, bring it up. Only this one we don't want to go all the way up because the can does have a little indentation between the lip and this surface. So that's pretty good there. We can hit E to extrude one more time, scale in just to about there and that'll be uh, a good point to hit control S and save it. We'll call it can tutorial. Save blender file. And let's just make sure it's saved. All right, so there we are. Now what we got to do is we've got to fill in our cap. All right, now the can top can be just a tad bit tricky, but uh, not uh, not too overly crazy. So let's go ahead and deselect everything. And what we need to do is we need to make some faces. So to do that, we'll just select these four points. Just hold down Shift and right click each vertice. Then hit F for face and do the same for this gap here. F for face and the same thing on the other side. We want to leave this gap right here in the middle. We want to leave that untouched. So add that. And now what we need to do is we're going to need, just to make things easier a little later on, add a couple of loop cuts. So what we want to do is we want to add one to the side by hitting Control R, click, and then right click. Control R on the other side, click, right click, and one on the bottom here, click. And leave this one. We don't want to put one there. Uh, you'll see why in a little bit. So now what we can do is we can take, uh, well, actually, let's go ahead and pull this vertice out, pull this vertice out and take these three, bring them up just a little bit, scale them along the X, give us a wide mouth there, and then take these two, and scale them in just a little bit on the X. Now what we can do next is we can add a subdivision surface. We probably could have done this a little sooner, and uh, but that's all right. So let's go to modifier, add modifier, subdivision surface, give it about a three, and now you'll see it's kind of looking more like a barrel um, that's because we need to add, right in here, we need to add a couple of loops. Just control R, bring it up, and bring that one down, and maybe bring one up in here. That way we get this real defined lip right there, and that's exactly what we want. So we need to do the same thing for the bottom now. Add a loop, bring it down, and go in here, we'll add a loop there and a loop there now one thing uh, one helpful thing if you uh, let go before you're ready for that one to uh, be set you can always slide it by hitting control E and select edge slide and then you can slide the edge along your mesh so just an interesting little tidbit so now if we bring up our tool panel and set our shading to smooth you'll see we're starting to get that can shape which is exactly what we want, but this is not ready yet. So go ahead and go back to top view, get rid of our tool panel and tab back into edit mode. What we can do is we can start forming this cap part. Now what we're going to need to do is the cap has, it has a slight indentation on the top. If you have a soda can, take a look at it. Right there before the uh, mouth opening is a slight indentation. So we can do that by selecting all these vertices here along the edge hitting E to extrude, and then scale them in, and then, oh, things are real jumpy with this uh, screen recording software running. It's slowing things down quite a bit. Sorry about that. Just bear with me. Okay, now we can grab that and drop it down on Z, and then add a couple of edge loops to smooth everything out. And uh, maybe one right in there. Now we're starting, now we're cooking. Okay, so making our pool tab is actually pretty easy. We just need to create a cube. We'll move it over here so we can see a little better. And actually, you know what? Let's make it with a mesh plane. Bring it over, scale it on the X, scale it on the Y, scale it on the X again. Just trying to get the basic, basic shape. And what we can do is tab into edit mode, add a couple of loop cuts. Uh, I guess we'll add, let's see, three maybe. 
Actually, let's go four. So we add four loop cuts, and then we can move this cut up, uh, and move this cut. I'm holding down Alt and clicking, just kind of oh, outlining the basic shape. And then we can add a couple here vertically. Good. So now if we go into Face Select, we can select these two faces and delete them. Delete faces. So now we have like a, a, a very poor looking eight shape. Um, but what we can do is add a subdivision surface modifier, add modifier subdivision surface, give it about a three, uh, set it to smooth shading. Uh, let's close that, we don't need it. And now we can go in and we can start to refine our shape. But to do that, we're gonna need another loop cut right down the middle. So let's control R. Control R, Control R, right there. Now you could have added that before you deleted the faces, but it's not a big deal either way. So let's go to vertex mode, and let's begin moving these vertices. So what we can do is, select, oop, actually let's select this, these three vertices. We'll move them down. Actually. Um, yeah, about right there. Select these three. Move them up some. Select the center one because it's not a perfect circle. There, there. Eh. Scale on the X. Kind of like that. So that's not bad. Now what we need to do is extrude. Grab it on the Z, and we need to give it some depth. So we'll pull it up. About like that, and we'll add a couple loop cuts to the outside just to control that. There we go. And maybe add one in here, add one in here. And then if we go back into object mode and scale it back on the Z, we get something that we can work with. And another thing we can do is. Uh, Deselect everything, hit C to circle select, select this center points here, pull it down some. Actually, let's select all of this, bring it down some, give it that edge. Do the same thing. Oh, do the same thing. If I can circle around, do the same thing at the top. Deselect, select with circle select. Bring that up like that. So now we're looking pretty good. I mean, it's not perfect, but it's decent. We can go in here and go to face mode. And let's do that. And what we can do is extrude this up, scale it along the X. So what I'm doing is making room for the uh, little rivet that's going to hold this onto the can. So we'll bring this up some more, scale it, add a loop in here, bring it down, scale it in on the X. So there, there we go. Not bad, quick and easy. Um, onward. Okay, back in the top view. To create that little rivet, easiest thing in the world, uh, let's actually in edit mode, hit shift A, we'll add a cylinder, hit T to bring up our, and make sure it's uh, capping the ends, bring it over here, scale it down a whole bunch, and bring it into place, we need to scale it down a bunch more, and bring it up just a little bit. And add a loop cut in there. And maybe one more, just to make it nice and sharp. All right. So there we have it. Now what we can do is place that on our can simply by move over here, grab it. Oop, grab it, move it over. And maybe grab it on the Z. Oop bring it up on the Z, and we're gonna have to scale the whole thing down. Top view. 
you know, a lot of trial and error with this, but uh, scale it out on the X a little bit. Scale it just a little bit on the Y, and then we'll scale it all up uniform. Uh, a little too much. All right, bring it up. All right about there. And what we can do, since this is an open can, well, that didn't line up like it should. Let's go to side view. Things are really jumpy. Well, that explains that. We'll bring it down and set it on top. Uh, bring it up some. And now we're going to rotate it on the x-axis. So remember, this is an open can, so we got to have that sticking up a little bit. Right about there. And there you have it. You know, that's pretty easy. Like I said, this little indentation is probably a little much. Actually, I'm pretty sure it's a little much. You might not want to extrude down so far when you get to that, but that's pretty much that. If we go ahead, let me pause real quick and do a render. You know, there you go. It was a quick render. Uh, the lighting hasn't been set up yet. Texturing hasn't been done, but that's the basic model. Uh, I'm actually going to stop here and we'll do this as a two-part tutorial. Part two, we'll do some lighting and texturing and getting this thing looking like that preview render we saw earlier. So uh, stay tuned for part two coming up very shortly. Once again, my name is Chad Allen and thank you guys for watching. You can find much more tutorials, in-depth stuff, crazy stuff at firechildvideo.blogspot.com. Thank you for watching and we'll see you guys in part two.